Yo yo, so if you're a beginner in GTA 5 Online, the Acid Lab should be the very first business that you invest in. It can make you so much money as a low level, like it's insane how good it is. So in this video, we're going to be going over how to make millions with the Acid Lab in GTA Online. Starting off, you're going to need to own a Brocade 6x6. Now you could go ahead and buy it off of Warstock Cash and Carry for $750,000, but that would be a huge waste of your money, so please, please, please do not buy it. What you're going to want to do instead is complete all six of the first dose missions. You can find the first one right here at this R on your map over in Sandy Shores. And once you complete that first one, you can finish the other five over here at this D by the Freak Shop. Now these missions are going to have plenty of combat, and if you're new, that might sound pretty intimidating. The best tip I can give you is to go stock up on as many snacks, body armor, and ammo as you can. Because if not, you'll probably die pretty quick, and we obviously do not want that. Anyway, these six missions should only take you about an hour to complete, and upon doing so, you're going to be rewarded with the Brocade 6x6 completely for free. You're also going to be rewarded $500,000, which is going to help you out in just a little bit. Now before you can get started on making money with the Acid Lab business, there's a couple of things you're going to have to do first. So right after you finish up those six first dose missions, you're going to see these three icons on your map. Just head over to any one of them. I don't think it really matters which one you actually go to. So yeah. But anyway, once you're there, there's going to be some guards that you got to take out, but that shouldn't be too difficult. The main thing that you got to do here is grab a forklift and use it to load up this truck right here with the lab equipment. And then from here, all you got to do is drive that truck back to the freak shop. Now, once you get back to the freak shop, you want to walk over to Mutt and press right on your D-pad. You can now turn the Brocade 6x6 into an acid lab on wheels for $750,000. See, this is why I told you not to buy the Brocade 6x6 earlier, because now, instead of putting $1.4 million into this business, it's only $750,000. You're welcome. Anyway, this place where Mutt is standing is actually the vehicle workshop within the freak shop, and this is going to be the place to upgrade your Brocade 6x6, as well as your delivery bike, which we'll go over a little later on in this video. But yeah, aside from your usual vehicle upgrades, the Acid Lab Upgrades tab is what you want to check out and make the most out of this vehicle. In here, you can throw on heavy armor plating, which is going to seriously buff the hell out of this thing. With that heavy armor on it, it can take up to 48 rockets from both an RPG and homing missiles. It also has bullet resistant windows. Now, while the windows aren't bulletproof, they're these little small ass windows, so it'll be really tough for someone to take you out on this thing. There's also proximity mines that you can throw on, which when you press the right stick while driving is going to pop out the back of the Brocade 6x6. These are great for when you're being chased by the cops or even actual players. Now, out of all the different options, I personally prefer EMP ones, but that's just my opinion. And then there's also this big ass ram that you can throw on in the front of it, which just makes cars fly. It's honestly pretty fun to use, especially with NPCs in the way. But the best upgrade, and the only one that matters in terms of making you money, is the equipment upgrade. This is going to allow you to make way more money with the Acid Lab as well as speed up the production speed, so I'd say that it's hella worth it. Now, the equipment upgrade is going to cost you $250,000, but before you can buy it, you're going to need to do 10 fooligan jobs. You can start these up either by walking up to Dax in the free shop or by calling him on your phone and requesting work. I'm going to be honest, I'm not a fan of these missions at all, and I'm pretty sure that you'll agree with me once you do them yourself. I just find them kind of boring, and I feel that it's a little too much work to only make $50,000 from one. And on top of that, there's a goddamn 50 minute cooldown right after you complete one, which is stupid as hell, honestly, but I guess it is what it is. But trust me, it's hella worth it in the end for that pay increase, so do yourself a favor and just push through them. Now, one of the things that I absolutely love about this business is that it's obviously inside of a vehicle, meaning that this is a mobile business. Unlike other businesses where you have to go over to them on the map, the Acid Lab comes to you. If you open up your interaction menu, go to services, and select Acid Lab, you have the option to request your Acid Lab as well as your delivery bike. From here, you can also return both of those vehicles and even change the name of your Acid Lab for only $5,000. You already know I had to do it. Now, the one thing you're going to want to for sure do here is change the name of your Acid Lab product. This was recently added in the San Andreas Mercenaries DLC, and it's a small but useful feature. You're going to want to open up your interaction menu, come over to services, Acid Lab, and go down to product name. By going over to product name, you could pick any of these names for your product, and by doing so, it's going to add an extra 5% to your sell value, which is pretty sweet. The first time you do it, it's completely free of charge, but anytime after that, it's going to cost you $5,000. Now that we've got all that out of the way, let's go over how this business actually works. So right here in the bottom right of your screen, you have two bars, the product bar, and then there's the supplies bar. In order for Mutt to make product, you're going to need to get him supplies, and there's two ways you could do this. The first way is to come over here and press right in your d-pad to go into a source supplies mission. This has you go get the supplies yourself and then bring them back to the acid lab. Pretty straightforward. Now, while these are pretty easy to do, they obviously take you some time, and that's why I'm going to actually recommend getting supplies the second way, which is to just buy them. You can either come on over to Mutt inside of the acid lab or call him from your phone and pay him $60,000 to get you supplies, and after about 10 or 15 minutes, the supply bar is going to be completely filled up and then he'll get started making that product for you. Now, the reason why I recommend doing it this way is simply because it saves you time. Like in the time it takes you to do five source supply missions, you could be grinding out some auto shop contracts or even Kyle Perigo. Anyway, once you have those supplies, Mutt uses those supplies to make product and he does so completely on his own. This makes the Acid Lab a passive business, meaning it does the work all on its own. So basically, let's say you're doing the Kyle Perigo heist, right? While you're grinding that out, the Acid Lab is going to be doing all the work completely on its own, essentially making money for you in the background. All that you have to do is check back and resupply it when necessary and do the sell missions, which we'll go over shortly. One more thing that you're definitely going to want to take advantage of is if you come
come on over to this table right here, you can press right on your D-pad and boost the production speed. Definitely something that you're going to want to take advantage of with this business in order to sell faster. The only downside to this though is that you can only do it once every day, and I'm talking about an actual real life day, not an in-game day. Now, since we're on the topic of production speed, let's go over how long it takes before you can sell. So without the equipment upgrade and no production boost, it'll take about six hours. But when you add the production boost, it'll be right around four and a half hours. And then when you get the equipment upgrade, but no production boost, it'll be about four hours. But then you add the production boost and it'll take about three hours. Okay, now let's move on to the cell missions. The Acid Lab cell missions are honestly so easy, you guys. Similar to the nightclub, you only have one cell vehicle, no matter how much product you're selling. And as for the cell vehicle itself, it's the Sanchez Scout C and it's given you completely for free once you unlock the Acid Lab. Guys, I absolutely love this bike. Like the handling is amazing and it really is so damn good. Definitely a really cool bike to have, especially for these cell missions. But getting back to the cell missions themselves, there's three different kinds that you'll get. The first type is where you act as a paper delivery boy and have to go deliver to 10 different locations. Once you get to each location, you just have to aim the newspaper into the container and move on to the next one. If you somehow can make it into the container while you're on your bike, you can just get off of it and get a little closer. But overall, this is the most simplest cell mission that you'll get. The second type is where it sends you to a supposed drop off, but it's actually a police raid. What you're going to want to do here is just shoot the first undercover cop car that you see, then just lose the cops. Once you lose them, go to the new drop off location on your map and just leave your delivery bike inside of the van there. Then just walk off from the location and you're done. Now for the last mission type, and at least for me, the most common type is where you have five separate drop off locations. For this one, you just want to go over to each one and stash the acid in one of the three areas shown in white once you arrive. You want to be careful though because some of these drop offs actually have undercover cops there. So you just make sure that you stash it in a spot where they cannot see you. Otherwise, you're going to get a wanted level. But yeah, once you're done, just drive away from the last drop off and you're done. As you guys can see, all three of the mission types are extremely easy to complete. Definitely nothing to be stressing out over. Now to finish this guide off, let's go over the payouts for the acid lab business. So without the equipment upgrade, you're going to be making $237,600 per each cell. And with the equipment upgrade, you're going to be making $335,200. But if you change the name of your product, that goes up to $351,840. While that $350K isn't terrible, you can still make way more money and that's going to be through selling in a full public lobby. By doing so with the equipment upgrade, I'm getting the high demand bonus, making this close to $530,000 per cell. And in case any of you are worried about griefers ruining your cell missions, let me tell you guys this, and I'm being 100% honest here. In the seven months that the Acid Lab has been out in GTA 5 Online, I have never once been griefed while doing these cell missions. Like I'm being so dead ass right now. And trust me, I've sold quite a lot of product within the last seven months, so I would know. But even if you do get worried that someone's coming for your ass, you can always throw on Ghost Organization. Trust me, I've had my scares too. But overall, this is a great business that is going to make you hella passive income whether you're a beginner or a veteran in GTA 5 Online. Now, while the Acid Lab is building up on product, you're going to need something to do. The agency is another great business within GTA Online that can make you millions every single day. Day. From doing just one Dr. Dre contract, you're guaranteed a million dollars. And the best part is you can do it over and over. So if that sounds interesting, you're definitely going to want to click on the video on screen right now.